Hello and welcome to Bottle Ship with our friends the Jifflings. If you enjoy the show, please leave a review and share the podcast with your friends. And stay tuned to the end of the show when the Jifflings will read out some of your reviews. Who knows, we might even read out your review. And now it's time for today's episode, The Belt Buckle. In your world, things are important. But what about the things that aren't important anymore? Well, sometimes those things end up here in the magical land of Dilstonia, where the Jifflings live on their little Jiffling ship. They find these things that we throw away and fish them out of their sea so they can recycle them and put them to good use once again. And here they are now, ready to work. Eccentric young pumpkin. Ooh, I'm ever so excited. The Hedge, who was a very lazy jiffling. Like, hey man, is it time for a bed yet? Miss Katie, who loves fixing things and dressy up. Sometimes I like both together. Albert, the ship's gardener. Hey, who's been in a me cabbage patch like? And Friedeline, a very sensible jiffling who looks after everybody on the ship. Yeah, that is correct. Oh. Today on the ship, it is Midsummer's Day, which is the longest day of the year. Oh. To celebrate, the Jifflings are planning a delicious barbecue. Oh. Albert and Friedeline are wearing their lovely summer hats whilst they put all the driftwood they have gathered into their big barbecue pit. Be careful where we're stacking the extra wood, Friedeline. We don't want that to catch fire. Yeah, you are correct here, Albert. We must be very safe and thoughtful around our Jifflings barbecue. This was true. They knew they had to be very sure to follow the Jiffling safety book and make sure that no Jiffling could possibly get hurt. Luckily, though, Albert and Friedeline really had been very careful. Miss Katie, on the other hand, was not. La 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 la, twirly whirly dancey dance, watch me do my Jiffling jig. Further down the ship, Miss Katie was having a lovely sunny playtime, pretending that she was a flamenco dancer on a big stage. Flamenco dancers come from Spain and they wear long ruffly dresses, which is just why Miss Katie liked them so much. But her dress was especially long. So long, in fact, that... Ow, man! Hedge and Young Pumpkin suddenly fell with a big thud onto the floor beside Miss Katie. Where did you two come from? Did you want to see my lovely dance? We were like cleaning the windows, man. When all of your twirling and twisting made a massive gust of wind that knocked us right off our ladder. Oh, I'm very sorry. But you're off your ladder now, so you can watch me finish me dancing. Without waiting for a reply, Miss Katie began twirling and swooshing again. But, oh no, she kicked up another big gust of wind that went right in the direction of the barbecue. Oh, hey, what is this windy nonsense? It was not in the jiffling weather report. Miss Katie... This is simply unacceptable. Oh my, Friedeline was annoyed. But just then, Miss Katie did a huge spin, causing a gust of wind so big it looked like a tornado. And it came straight towards Friedeline, knocking her right into Albert, who honestly got rather squashed. Miss Katie, you have made young pumpkin and the hedge to have bruised bottoms. And Albert is now as flat as a jiffling pancake. And our midsummer barbecue has been blown out. Ha! You must stop your windy twirling. Just one more, Friedeline. That stopped Miss Katie in her tracks. It was the sound of an object that was caught in their net. And so even dancing jifflings had to help out as they all worked together to heave it onto deck. The object fell onto deck with a heavy thud. It was round and silver, and it had a pretty picture on it that weaved in and out and looked like a great canyon. Well, that looks like a huge coin. 
Oh no, I think that must be a unicorn's horseshoe. Then the hedge stepped forward hey. because he knew exactly what the object was. He scampered up but onto hey. the story seat and started to tell the tale. Like this is the cowgirl's belt buckle. Hey. Once there was a very proud cowgirl called Kim hey. who lived on a wide prairie, which is like a massive meadow, man. Now Kim was a bit of a show off, and she liked to ride her horse faster than anyone else. In fact, she rode her horse so fast, she had to wear a big strong belt buckle on her trousers to stop them from falling down. The belt buckle was very uncomfortable, but she had to wear it because she galloped all day long, rounding up yeah. the cows yeah. and getting them yeah. ready for the rodeo. Moo. Whilst her big belt buckle gripped on tight to her speedy trousers. <laughs> but like one hot summer's day, when she was out galloping around on her horse, she saw a funny little creature waving at her from one of the hills. Hello. I am Daddy Armadillo, and I am a nocturnal creature, and so are my little pups, which means we all sleep during the day and we're awake at night. But it's daytime now, said Kim. Why aren't you asleep? Oh, I wish I was asleep, I tell thee. But someone keeps galloping around everywhere at top speed, making the most horrendous racket. It's keeping us all awake. Well, I'm sorry, but I'm a cowgirl. I like to gallop. Well, I need to sleep. I can sleep when you trot. I can even sleep when you canter. But galloping is possibly the loudest thing ever. Suddenly, ten tiny little armadillo pups came jumping up out of the sand, <laughs> looking ever so sleepy. Can we go to sleep yet, Daddy Armadillo? We're very tired. Then Cowgirl Kim realized she hadn't considered how her galloping might affect others. And she felt very sorry for the ten sleepy pups. So she made a promise to the armadillos not to gallop around anymore. She and her horse would trot and canter and still easily round up all the cows oh. whilst the armadillo family could have the perfect sleep. And so, because she wouldn't be racing around everywhere, she no longer needed the huge uncomfortable belt buckle to keep her trousers up. And now... Because the belt buckle was thrown away, it has ended up here. Yes, it has. But what to use it for next? That was the question. Oh, maybe it could be a dream catcher to catch all of our lovely bestest dreams. Well, I think it could be a flower guard to stop all the little snails from eating me roses again. Then Miss Katie stepped forward, for she knew exactly what it could be. Why don't we put it on the top of the fire pit and use it as a grill for the barbecue? That way, we'll all have a delicious dinner that I can cook. And it will protect the fire from the weather too. Ah, oh, what a wonderful idea, Miss Katie. Now that's something all the Jifflings can enjoy together. So, Miss Katie took off her swooshy flamenco dress so it wouldn't cause any more trouble and she put on a much more sensible apron and chef's hat so that she could safely cook the Jifflings a most yummy barbecue dinner. Everyone had a lovely time eating grilled sea dogs and wave burgers. And then, as the sun set on the longest day of their year, it was time for bed. Good night, young pumpkin. Good night. Good night, Albert. I'll see you in the morning, like. Good night, Friedeline. And it is a good night. Yeah. Good night, Miss Katie. Night, night. Good night, Hedge. Hedge? 
Oh, I think the head is asleep already. And goodbye to you too, wherever you are. Maybe next time you see a thing that you might throw away, you'll stop and see if you can use it again, just like our friends the Jifflings. And maybe the thing you use again will have a story to tell too. Goodbye. Thank you for listening to Bottleship. We'll have a new episode up every two weeks. For all the parents listening, if you'd like to, you can donate to the show at patreon.com forward slash bottleship. And for all the children listening, if you enjoyed the show, please leave a review and share the podcast with your friends. We've had some lovely reviews this week, haven't we, Jifflings? Yeah, like this review from Erin in America. Erin says, Hi, I'm Erin and I'm nine years old and I love all the episodes of the Jifflings and I've listened to all of the stories multiple times. I can't wait for the next story in Dilstonia. Well, that's a lovely review, Erin. Thank you very much. Oh, thank you, Erin. And we have this review from Australia. It says, Hi, my name is Elizabeth. I am six and my little brother, Oscar, he is five. I love Miss Katie's voice. And I think Pumpkin's voice is really, really funny. Thank you, Elizabeth and Oscar. And we would also like to say a very big special hello to Isabel and Freya in London. Hello. 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 Like, thank you for listening, Isabel and Freya. Yes, and thank you to everyone who listens to Bottleship. We really are very grateful. And if you like listening to stories, why not check out our sister podcast, Storytime, for children of all ages. Thanks again, and we'll bring you more exciting adventures with our friends the Jifflings very soon. Goodbye!